Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks 2021 season review. Last night I did the Canberra Raiders season review. If you haven't checked out that review yet, make sure you guys go and check it out. It's already up on the channel. Tonight we're going to be doing the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks, the team that finished in ninth position in 2021. This was the first time the Sharks did not play finals football since 2014. They made the finals every year up until 2020, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. The Sharks were in the finals. This is the first time since 2014 they haven't made the finals. So a bit of a disappointing year for the Sharks. But um, before I get into the Sharks season review, make sure you guys go ahead and like this video. Comment your thoughts on the Sharks season in the comment section below. And most importantly, hit the, hit the subscribe button. Guys, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. But without further ado, let's get into the Cronulla Sharks 2021 season review. And the Sharks, like I said, they finished in ninth position on the competition ladder. They had a record of 10 wins and 14 losses. They equaled eighth on the ladder, but they unfortunately didn't get in. Due to for and against, and um, all the sharks had all the sharks had to do in the final round was hope that the Warriors would beat the Titans. Unfortunately, that didn't happen for the Sharks. And the Sharks, if I had to beat Melbourne in the final round, they would have been in the finals. But unfortunately, for Cronulla, Cronulla they were beaten in that final round against Melbourne. But um, let's go through their season. So in round one, they had a good win over their rivals, the Dragons, thirty-two points to eighteen. Round two, they were beaten by Canberra, 12 points to 10. Round three, they were flogged by Parramatta, 28 to 4. Round four, the Easter weekend, they destroyed my Cowboys, 48 points to 10. Round five, the Sharks were beaten in a tight one against the Roosters, 26-18 after leading 18-4 in that contest. Round six, the Sharks were beaten pretty much with two minutes to go. Against Newcastle, I think Caelan Ponga scored a match-winning try with about two minutes to go there in round six. Round seven, the Sharks were beaten by the Dogs, 18-12, in what was a massive, massive upset there in round seven. Round eight, the Sharks were beaten by Melbourne, 40-14. to Really slow start for the year for the Sharks. Round nine, the Panthers beat the Sharks, 48-0. Really disappointing there from Cronulla. Sharks and... Round 10, up at Magic Round there, they were beaten by the Bunnies, 32 points to 22. The Sharks were in some really ordinary form at the first half of the season. Round 11, they beat the Dragons, 13 points to 12. Wasn't a pretty win. I believe it was a close game. I believe Chad Townsend kicked the field goal off. I think it went to Golden Point from memory. Then the Sharks had a little bit of momentum. They beat the Gold Coast at Coff Sabah, 38 points to 10. They're in round 12, round 13. Sharks had the bye. Round 14, the Sharks beat Penrith, 19-18. Round 15, they beat the Cowboys, 26 points to 24. Round 16, the Sharks, they were beaten by the Broncos up there at Brisbane. Round 17, they had a decent win over the Warriors, 20 to 12. Round, um, round 18, they were beaten by Canberra, quite convincingly. Round 19, the Sharkies, they gave it to the Dogs, 44-24. Round 20, they were beaten by Manly on a Monday night game. Turbo had an absolute field day against the, against the Sharks. Round 21, the Sharks had a 10-point lead against the Warriors, which they let go, and they were beaten 18 points to 16. Round 22, the Sharks were beaten in another tight game, 16 points to 14 against the Newcastle Knights. Round 23, Sharks destroyed the West Tigers, 50 to points to 20. 50 to 20, crazy sort of game there. Round 24, they beat the Broncos, 24-16 in, in the final round. All they had to do was beat Melbourne to play finals. They were beaten 28 points to 16 against the Melbourne Storm. So that was the Sharks' season there. They obviously had some th really close losses. They had some really bad losses as well, some really good results. But um, overall, I thought it was a pretty disappointing year for the Sharks. That they could have made the finals. Um... My preseason prediction for the Sharks, I had them missing the top eight, but they ended up finishing ninth, so a little bit unlucky there for the Sharks. But going through their season, their best win and their worst result, I'd say some of their best results were the ones against the Cowboys in round four. 
Um, another great result for him was in round 12 against the Gold Coast. Uh, Kof Sabo there, 38 points to 10. Uh, another good result for the Sharks was when they beat Penrith by one point, 19 points to 18. And I guess the one in round 23 against the Tigers winning 50 points to 20. Some of the bad results for the Sharks, I thought the game against the um, the Bulldogs in round 7, 18, 12 lost there. That was a game where you think the Sharks probably should have won that, but they blew it. Losing to Penrith in round 9, 48 nil. That's really disappointing there. Another bad result for the Sharks was probably against um, probably against the Broncos, where they were beaten 26 points to 18 on a Sunday afternoon up there at Suncorp in round 16. I guess another result, you could say the one against Manly on the Monday night, where they were beaten 40 points to 22. So if, if I had to pick out the best and worst out of all these, I'd say the, the Sharks' worst result would have been against Penrith in round 9, losing 48 points to nil. The best result, I would have to say, the game against the Tigers in round 23, winning 50 points to 20. Now, having a look at some of their players this year, the Sharks, I thought they had some really good standout players. They had some really poor players as well, but we'll go through some of... Um, well, let's go through the Sharks squad and we'll see how they went this year. Blake Bradley, the hooker. I thought he had a great season, Blake Bradley. I thought he had a really underrated season. I thought he played really well for the Sharks. Will Chambers, I thought he was just a waste of time. I, I, I don't know why he played um, that many games for the Sharks. I thought he was really disappointing. Chambers played nine games for the Sharks this year. I think he, only, I think he might have had two good games for him, if that. Um, Andrew Fafita. I thought Fafita had, did some really good stuff. Did some bad stuff as well. Obviously, had some really bad games, but had a serious injury where he almost passed away. I'm glad Fafita's doing well now. Hopefully, um, he gets back out on the field sometime soon because it'll be good to see him back and it'll be a great story. But I thought, I thought Fafita was okay this year. Uh, Wade Graham didn't play much due to injury, so I'm not, not really going to rate Wade Graham because of all the injuries he had this year. Uh, Braden Hamlin Uelia, thought he had a great season. Hamlin Uelia, thought he was very good off the bench for the Sharks. Great impact. I thought Hiroti, um, he played a few games on the wing and, and in the centers. I thought he was very good. Hiroti. Uh, Royce Hunt didn't play much, but I thought he was okay when he was there. Sean Johnson was great when he was fit, but too bad he had a lot of injuries. So, I thought Sean Johnson had a pretty decent season. Sandy Katara on the wing, I thought he was outstanding for the Sharks. I thought he was excellent. Um, Nane McDonald didn't play a whole lot. Billy Magulius didn't play a whole lot either as well. Luke Metcalf, a really good young promising player coming through. Thought he was good for the Sharks when he played. Uh, Matt Moylan, a bit of a quiet year for Matt Moylan. Thought, thought he did some really good stuff for the Sharks, but again, just a lot of injuries and just can't seem to stay fit, Matt Moylan. Uh, Matt Moylan played 15 games this year, which is fairly good for his standards, but he probably had about... Maybe three or four great games, and the other games were just probably five out of ten sort of games for Matt Moylan. Didn't do a whole lot. Ronaldo Malatalo, when he was fit, I thought he was outstanding. Ronaldo, Ronaldo Malatalo was a terrific winger, along with Skinny Katoa. I thought Malatalo had a really good year for the Sharks. Britton Akora, I thought he was quiet, Britton Akora. I'm a big fan of Britton Akora, but I think um, Britton Akora is starting to fall out with the Sharks. Maybe he needs to go to a different club and... Um, try something different, but, uh, you know, I thought he was quite disappointed this year, Britton Nakora. Um, really good player, I reckon, he's a right edge back row, I thought he was solid, but, um, definitely could have done, done a lot more this year for the Sharks for mine. Uh, Franklin Pele, I think he only played, he played, played the one game, he's a promising young player coming through, looking forward to seeing how much more football he gets. Jesse Ramian, I thought Jesse Ramian had a really good season, obviously, Still a little bit inconsistent for mine. He's a really big, strong center. Lots of aggression. Lots of um, good stuff about him. But I think his discipline sort of lets him down a little bit. But Jesse Ramian had a fairly good season. But he's a player that I expect to see ex just explode sometime soon. But Ramian, decent season. Definitely could do a lot more though, in my opinion. The potential is there from, for Jesse Ramian. Toby Rudolph, I thought he was outstanding. Thorny had a fantastic season, Toby Rudolph. Um, he can play front row, he can play a lock. I thought he had a great year, Toby Rudolph. Uh, my man himself, my good man, Sia Talakai. I love this bloke. This guy's my man, Talakai. He's an absolute animal. 
This bloke eats bloody players for breakfast. This bloke is a scary, scary man. You get him one on one with a five eight or a halfback, good luck. I don't think any halfback one on one could tackle this bloke. Talakai is a gun, is an animal, and I want to see him play more football in the back row for the Sharks going forward because I think this bloke could honestly be anything. Um, Aiden Tolman, thought he was extremely mediocre. Aiden Tolman. Didn't really offer a whole lot. Maybe he, he offers a little some leadership skills, but the Sharks have got so many good young forwards coming through. I can't see Aiden Tolman getting a starting spot next year. Thorny was quite quite disappointing, to be honest. Connor Tracy played literally everywhere. Thorny was great for the Sharks. Braden Trindle, the future Cronulla Sutherland halfback. I thought Tricky Trindle was outstanding. I thought he played really well. Braden Trindle... Jack Williams, young young front rower, back rower. Thorny was good as well. Teague Wilton. I met Teague Wilton at, at Magic Round. Very nice bloke. I see a lot of potential in Teague Wilton. I thought he was very good for the Sharks this year. Um, definitely does some good things. Aaron Woods had a had a decent season. I thought everyone bags Aaron Woods. Everyone thinks he's a flop. But I think Woods is a very good player. He does the job extremely well. Everyone says he's terrible. But I don't think so, man. I think he does the job really well. And also, I want to mention William Kennedy. Kennedy was outstanding for the Sharks this year. Fort Will Kennedy played extremely well for the Sharks. But um, if I had to pick out a best and worst player for the Sharks, I'd have to say their best player. There's a lot of them that you can pick from because I thought a lot, lot of the Sharks players this year were very good. I'd say Will Kennedy was probably their most consistent player. He's probably their best player. I thought Will Kennedy, their worst player. I'll probably have to go with Aiden Tolman, man. A little bit slow off the mark. Doesn't really have that speed that the current modern-day ruck has. I don't think he has that um, that extra footwork around the ruck. I don't think he has that quick play the ball speed. His leg speed isn't that fast as well. He's just one of those old fours that just goes out there and just tackles everything, but gets caught out a fair bit, so... Don't get me wrong, Aiden Tomlin's had a great career at the Bulldogs, and he's d- done okay at the Sharks, but I think the game's getting a little bit c- too quick for Aiden Tomlin, but I thought he was quite disappointing this year. I thought Will Kennedy was probably their best player. Also, some of the other players who I thought were a, a bit ordinary for the Sharks. Chambers, quite ordinary for mine. Um, Matt Moylan, a little bit ordinary as well. Who else is there? Britton Acora, big fan, but a little bit ordinary as well. Some of their good players, besides Will Kennedy, I thought the wingers were great. Malatalo and Katoa were really good. Connor Tracy played plenty of positions. Talakai, um, Toby Rudolph, so many really good players for the Sharks. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next year. New coach in Craig Fitzgibbon. And you got to remember as well, for the Sharks this year, from the 2021 season, that they lost their coach, John Morris, and they had an a interim coach in Josh Hanna for... But pretty much the whole season, really, from round seven onwards, pretty much. And it was a bit tough for the Sharks, and everyone's going, oh, but you gave the Sharks ratings, I gave the Sharks ratings all these, a lot of good ratings here. But look, here's the thing. A lot of these players did well individually, but I think as a team and as a unit, they just didn't gel good enough to be in the finals. I'm a bit unlucky not to make the finals, but I don't, I don't think a heap of these players gelled that well together. But, um... We'll see how they go next year. Craig Fitzgibbon's the head coach of the Sharks next year, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the Sharks do next year. They bought well next year, the Sharks. So this year was a little bit, little bit disappointing, but they had their reasons. Obviously, they lost their head coach for it, for an interim coach, and uh, they had players injured all the time, and the team was always changing. But Sharks had an okay season. If I had to give that season a rating out of ten, I'd give the Sharks season probably a five out of ten. It was decent. They missed out in the top eight because the Gold Coast got in by some miracle. But overall, decent year for the Sharks. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in 2022. But guys, that's it for the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks 2021 season review. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.